Hello and welcome to our Video Hits Summer Series, I'm Fuzzy and today we're looking at some brand new music coming up over the next few months this summer. I am now joined by the lovely singer-songwriter Robin Laau. Now Robin, mm -hmm. you've come a long way since Girlfriends and now you're here? I'm here. How are you? With us? Yeah. yeah. So today we're going to be taking a look at um, a few artists including John Butler Trio, mm -hmm. Evanescence and uh, Lady Sovereign. Yes. But right now, what are we going to be taking a look at? Uh, we're going to throw to All Saints. Uh, this is their new stuff. It's called Rocksteady, which is a great clip, actually. Very stylish. Welcome back to our Video Hits Summer Series. I'm Fuzzy. I'm joined by our special guest, Robin Laau. Now, you might remember Robin from the old 90s girl group, Girlfriend. And if you don't remember Girlfriend, here's a music clip to rejog oh, your memory. Really? Are we going there? Yes, we're we going, going there. So Robin, what are the other girls doing now? Uh, I believe that some of them are young mums uh -huh. right now and... Uh, like yourself? Yes, like myself. Yummy mummies! <laughs> uh, How old's your, your child? Uh, Indigo is uh, 16 months at the moment. Oh. So, uh, yes, it's amazing. She have done it years ago. I don't think any of them are in the music industry anymore. I think they have had enough with uh, the whole girlfriend experience, but you know, I'm sure that they're very happy. Mm -hmm. I know that one of them is a uh, pole dancing instructor. Yes, very controversial, right? <laughs> uh, but she's also a banker, so... Um, okay. So, yeah, but I'm sure That's that they're... Too extremes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're all doing well and they're very happy. Alrighty, so now we're going to take a look at another clip. This is Lady Sovereign with Love Me or Hate Me. Now, what do you think of this clip? Uh, I think that Lady Sovereign is amazing. I think it's very rare that you find a 16-year-old that has so much to say. and She's got attitude and spunk and, yeah, I really dig her. I hope she does really well. Yeah, cool. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, it's officially the biggest midget in the Hello, welcome back to our Video Hits Summer Special. I'm here with the lovely Robin Laau. We're taking a look at some of the cool clips coming out this summer. Right now we're going to take a look at uh, Evanescence's uh, up-and-coming single Lithium from their album Love Me or Hate Me. Now, what do you think of Evanescence as a band? I think that with vocalists, a lot of the time less is more. And that's so true of her voice. I think that you don't need to do Beyonce vocal Olympics to, uh, <laughs> to get your message across. And she just interprets each song of hers with such passion. And, and honesty and, and I guess that's why I, I really yeah I really admire her. Well them them as a band, I mean their first album sold like 14 million mm. albums Crazy. like copies. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Do you think mm. that they're under a lot of pressure this time around? Oh most definitely. Yeah. But um you know usually that's the, the second album syndrome. Mm. You know, always having to follow up. Uh, but you know, they're great. Yeah. The songs are very clever and but still very simple and you know I think that they picked up a lot of fans with that last album. Yeah. Well uh, Evanescence is also touring very very uh -huh. soon so guys if you are Evanescence fans check out videohits.com.au for tour details and uh, right now let's take a look at Lithium. Hello, you're watching the Video Hits Summer Special. It's Fuzzy here with Robin. Now we're taking a look at some great new music to be watching over the next few months and uh, but I want to track back to you now track back to post girlfriend uh, when you started off your solo career um, mm. let's chat about that you you released a single sick with love can you tell us about that track? yeah well um, a girlfriend really never won any awards for credibility so as far as um, songwriting uh, I just was quite passionate about um, stylistically making a making a a radical move away from that and mm. uh, wanted to be a bit more darker and moodier uh, so I did a, a songwriting trip around the world and uh, wrote Sick With Love with a guy called Adamski mm -hmm. uh, who's also responsible for uh, Killer 
Faulkner, which uh, Seal released. Yeah. And that was really well received. Uh, I think it went uh, into Triple J's Hottest 100. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I was quite relieved that it was so well received. Yeah, it's almost like from one extreme to another for you. Like, so were you happy that that, that release was so successful in such a short amount of time? Oh, mo yeah, most definitely. I think that uh, people quite, were quite surprised mm -hmm. um, at, at the change. But, you know, of course, um, it was just a nice, a, a, a nice way to come back into the industry. Now tell us about the video. I, I understand it was nominated for an MTV award. Yes, yes, uh, I did it with a uh, video director called uh, Anton Beebe, who's a South African uh, filmmaker now, I, I, I believe. Uh, mm. And I'd seen some of his work. Um, he had done a clip for Skunk and Nancy, one of my favorite bands. Mm. And, uh, and so we did it together out in a warehouse in Homebush, with lots of water, I was freezing at the time, and. Uh, Lots of bruises on my knees from doing so much crawling around in the water, but uh, it was fun. It was, it was, yeah, quite different from your, you know, your club video <laughs> yeah. where everybody's in the club wearing bikinis, which is just so not me. And happy-go-lucky. Yeah. Now, uh, what's the uh, the message behind this video? Because I understand like you're pulling different chords here and there. What, what's the significance of this? Of the pulling, yes, it would be a struggle, I guess, an emotional struggle of of love and hate. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's take a look now at the video. Okay. Sick with love. <laughs> 